doesn't take anything for me to be human generally and I've, I've come to realize that you don't even have to know what somebody is going through to be kind towards them you don't have to know what somebody is going through going through to treat them like human beings if you um, look at somebody and you know you 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 size somebody you look at somebody to know if this person is worthy of your respect before you give them respect then I'm sorry that is not a Christ-like attitude God is not a respecter of persons it makes the rain and the sun to fall on both the good and the bad so you shouldn't give your respect to only people that you feel that are worthy of your respect that beggar on the streets should not be given lesser respect than you give the rich man that is in a jeep or in a you know um, in a in an expensive car hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing thank you so much for tuning in so today i will talk to you about the power of kindness and our scriptural reference we're taking from Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 so without further ado let's get right into it so today's video is just it's not a conventional video that i'll have in no time talking from i just want to talk from my heart because um, what I'm about to share, discuss today, happened to me recently and I just feel that they would learn one or two things from it. So yeah, so recently I went to the market and I went to buy some fruit and I also went to buy crayfish. So when I finished buying my fruit, I went to my customer that sells crayfish and we were discussing and we were talking about how crayfish is now expensive and you know the price that I bought it the last time was like... <laughs> it was more than what she sold it to me when i went to the market recently so we're now you know we're just arguing the price i was trying to make her reduce the price for me and she was telling me that ah she can't reduce it to that you know crayfish is now expensive and all that so and i said okay then no problem we let her agree on the price she later reduced something for me we're now talking i'm not telling her that ah, um even um fruits that fruits are now expensive and some fruits are going out of season you know i told you that i went to buy some fruit and you know i didn't see some of the ones that i wanted to buy so she was telling me that yes that most uh, some fruits have gone out of season and the fruit that is in season now is mango she now said that even the mango that is in season that is when it came out she had not had it she had not eaten mango since when it came out this year so i was not curious you know i was just joking with that ah is it that you don't like are you a mango fighting and all you know i was just telling her that ah why you know why have you not had it i was curious to know why she had not had mango after almost two months of it coming out and she now said that the um, profits that she makes from a crayfish business that is not enough for her to even think of buying on general mango i was really heartbroken and this made me one this made me to wonder that some this some of these market women they suffer they slave they spend morning till night in the market just for a very little amount of money they, some of them don't even make profits because sometimes they are on loans some of them have to you know pay their children's school fees some of them have responsibilities that they have to cater to some of them you know after paying their loans and the interest there is nothing left which explains why you know she didn't have enough profits to buy mangoes so i was i was really i was really touched by what she said and you know and um before coming to her place i already bought some mangoes so i you know gave her out of the ones that i bought and she was really grateful that she was even willing to reduce the price of the crayfish further for me you know further than the price that we had agreed upon and I didn't agree, of course, because <laughs> from what I know about the price of crayfish and what she said, uh, uh, it's uh, like my conscience will not even allow me to collect the um, the money that she was willing to return to me. And this just made me to just, you know, wonder. A little kindness goes a long way. It doesn't have to, you don't have to be, some people want, some people are waiting to be millionaires, some people are waiting to be rich before um, being kind or before touching lives right from where you are you can be kind right from where you are you can show kindness you can help people a little goes a long way and this is just my admonition to you to you know be kind you don't have to price what you want to buy from that market to money if you have the money to buy it sometimes you might even just leave your change with her if you can actually 
afford to leave it with the market the you know the person that the, the market woman because most of the, the some of them make very little amount of profit little to nothing because as i said earlier on some of these people are on loans some of these people they have to pay debts that they have been owing some of these people have to you know settle their children's school fees they have they have a lot of responsibilities so a little kindness goes a long way a little thoughtfulness goes a long way and if you don't have the money to you know spare or if you don't have you know a monetary capacity pray with pray for them you know wish them well ask them how was their day you know my vegetable customer where i buy um vegetables from she was telling me that she usually comes from the farm to the market every single day she leaves the house by 5 a.m and she must be in the market latest by 12 o'clock in order for her to finish selling her vegetables because these things are perishable goods and they don't last up to a day or you know at most two days so they have to make sure that they you know leave the farm early as much as possible face traffic and still come back to the market and face some customers that are even very unruly very rude and you know you wonder why these market women behave rudely to you when even your own attitude is not good towards them so just a little kind of goes a long way and in this part of the world that i am in nigeria things are not easy people are going through a lot like if you hear people's stories you would cry you will weep for them you would be so touched like people are going through a lot basically people are going through a lot and it doesn't take anything from you to just you know be kind smile at them you know pray pray for them wish them well ask them how was their day you know how is market you know just interact with them and just you know start a conversation with them and you you know when i've noticed that when people are comfortable with you they are very likely to open up to you and you know share things with you that you will not even believe that they are going through so as you can tell this is not a conventional you know um this is not a conventional video where i have um scripts and all that i just want to share from my heart and you know i just want to you know admonish you to just be kind and be loving and it doesn't take anything for me to be human generally and I've, I've come to realize that you don't even have to know what somebody is going through to be kind towards them you don't have to know what somebody is going through going through to treat them like human beings and if you um, look at somebody and you know you 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 size somebody you look at somebody to know if this person is worthy of your respect before you give them respect then i'm sorry that is not a christ-like attitude god is not a respecter of persons it makes the rain and the sun to fall on both the good and the bad so you shouldn't give your respect to only people that you feel that are worthy of your respect that beggar on the streets should not be giving lesser respect than you give the rich man that is in a jeep or in a you know um, in a in an expensive car so in conclusion i would just say that be kind be human treat people the way you want to be treated love people the way you, i just i just feel that if you have experienced the love of god it will be easy for you to give love um, love to people if you have experienced the kindness and faithfulness of god it will be very easy for you to give you know same to people the bible says that the person that has been forgiven more would forgive others more so when you have that consciousness when you have the back of your mind you have that understanding that you have been forgiven by god you know you have been loved by god it will be it will be a natural you know occurrence for you to be a natural thing for you it will just come naturally for you to give love and you know kindness towards people so i hope this encouraged you i hope i have been able to you know just nudge you and encourage you to go out there and treat people well and just make a person's day better than it was you can be the reason why that person hopes for a better tomorrow you might be the reason why that person would you know change his mind towards committing suicide what you say your encouragement your smile towards that person might be the reason why the person you know believes that there is a god somewhere so irrespective of whether you have the money to help people or not just know that you have what it takes whether you have the money or not you have the kindness you have the you have god which is the most important because god in a person's life makes a difference so go out there and be the salt and the light that you are i'm rooting for you big time so quick question why do you think people find it hard to be kind towards others let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching if this blessed you please don't forget to leave a thumbs up comment your thoughts share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one till then remember that i love you but jesus loves you more stay blessed bye
And this is just my admission. And this is just my admi And this is just my admi And this is just my admi admonition. And this is just my admonition to you. Baby, you can